What's going down, everybody? Sarius here. Hope you guys are rocking steady, not only just in the gaming world, but also in your real lives as well. I know many of you guys are looking around saying, Sarius, wh what's wrong, wrong with your graphics, brother? It looks like puke green, homie. Like, what game are you playing, bro? Everybody, welcome to Natural Selection 2 by Unknown Worlds. It's an awesome, awesome game that just got released, but it's been in beta for a very long time. I think I followed it way back in the day when they just started and announced a little bit about like the engine and the environment system. And dude, I'm going to tell you, these guys put so much love into the game. It's just literally flowing out. So I got to see Unknown Worlds team. You guys are rocking. Keep it up. And I am so glad to have got this game. Like I have not been able to put this down. And I swear this is going to be like the reason why I fail my classes. And I'm kidding about that because I am studying hard but dude i'll tell you this is taking up a ton of my time because i love this game so much so right here you can actually see that i'm playing as the kara and i know some people might pronounce it as kara but they're basically the alien species race that have inhabited this ship and they're starting to grow and reach out and they're fighting for their survival now it's a matter of perspective but the opposing force and those little marines there that you see they're scuffling about scared and shaking in their little boots <laughs> are trying to purge the infestation and they're trying to survive as well and unfortunately there's no level of coexistence between the two species okay now basically although we're playing an fps game okay there are two lucky players on opposing sides we have one on our kara side and there's one on the marine side that are the commanders they actually are playing a real-time strategy game it's a top-down you know kind of like strategy resource game but here's the catch all of the players and all of the units are players rather that's what i wanted to get at and basically it's all about our ability to work as a team and function that is going to decide a victory from a loss okay so you can see here that i'm actually using a little bit of an upgrade system to be able to get better stats that is all thanks to our wonderful and glorious commander who is going ahead and buying all these great up upgrades for ourselves okay now basically you start off with two opposing home bases at pretty much mostly opposite sides of the map sometimes there are times where you know you'll spawn in a random area and you have to go ahead and expand as much as possible now there's an RTS term out there called area control area control you got to get your units out there and you got to push and you got to be aggressive you know and uh, that is one of the terms that really really focus uh, you know and center around this is, it's a centrifugal part of the natural selection to you know uh, world but look at this without night vision you can just see how gorgeous everything looks you can see, you see that nice like haze and bloom from the lights and look at this this is one of my favorite areas it's the firefalls now right here tactically this is the, probably the most well sought out and fought for uh, area in the game in, at least in this map because it has a double resource tower Basically, what resources do is basically you set up resource towers to extract all of the raw, like, I don't know, energy that's coming off of the ship, essentially. And what this allows you to do is be able to fund your evolution as an alien. You can actually have, on the bottom right, you're going to see, this is my personal resource thing. It says, like, I have, like, 39 or 40-ish resources. What that allows me to do is be able to evolve into the higher life forms. And basically, there are, I think, a total of five, if I'm correct. They have the Skulk, which is right here. That's what I'm doing. They can actually can climb walls. They're almost like the aliens from, like, Alien vs. Predator, you know, in a way. Because they can climb walls and they can kind of, like, uh, spit out parasites to, like, mark the, you know, mark the uh, victims. And you can actually see their silhouette through walls. So it essentially becomes, like, almost like cheating in a way, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> but they don't have a whole lot of health. And, and aliens have to be really careful and really use their environment to blend in to be able to set up ambushes because the marines have superior firepower they're really really if you have any crack shots on the enemy team that can just literally like you know pistol whip you in two seconds you know you have to be real careful you can see here i got a lucky parasite kill those only do about 10 damage and marines have a ton of hp so it was really kind of funny i i started chuckling now that big cute little fat guy right there that little chunky chubby little little thing right there is called a gorge and uh, he's been toned down from the original natural selection but in natural selection 2 he plays more of like a, a healer and support role he can build some very light structures to blockade certain narrow passages and he also can like set up his own almost mini sentry turrets in a way but they're, they're pretty weak uh, but uh, for the most part it's really good to be able to conceal those but uh, again he is uh, he's really a staple in uh, the natural selection 2 world and actually in the natural selection 1 world which is the predecessor to this game right here he w he played like the centrifugal role he was the one responsible for building new hives and expanding the base setting up sentry sort of turrets like called hydras and and then in addition with that also you know managing the team's upgrades and and, and so on and so forth. Now right there you saw that kind of like Stargate looking thing. 
like that movie with Kurt Russell. <laughs> but anyways, guys, uh, basically that is called a phase gate, and Marines basically require power to power all of their structures, okay, and uh, even their resource towers, etc. So when you are playing an alien, you want to definitely be going for those power nodes, and by taking out the power, you know, the, the, the maps are really dynamic, and what's really cool about this is you can see here on the ground, you know, very temporarily, you can see these, like, red little bulbs on the ground growing. That's called, like, cysts, and what they do is actually end up spreading infestation, and it, it's really cool to see it spread, because you can just see that, like, when I actually put some marine gameplay up, you'll see when you're walking through infested areas, it's really creepy because the lights are out, you only have this flashlight, but uh, again, I just, I think the level of detail of this game is absolutely phenomenal. So I did did die to Frank Take 4814, a really great killing floor player who's a, an expert kiter. And uh, you're going to see some footage in the future of us rocking commando on the brand new Hilly, Hill, Hill, I almost said Hilly, Hillbilly Horror Map uh, way back during the uh, October 2012 Halloween event. So definitely stay tuned for that. Now, right here, I'm evolving to the fourth life form. This is the ninja, like, I, 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 you have dual sights on both hands, guys. It's like a praying mantis. But, dude, this guy has mad skills. And you're going to see the real power. This guy's called the Fade. And he is a really, really great, almost like rogue class. If you've ever played an action RPG game, uh, be it Skyrim, be it whatever you're down with, this is kind of like the class. Now, right here, this is so much. I love this area. This is like my favorite. You got Fire Falls right in the refinery area. Or Lava Falls, sorry. Fire Falls is an awesome game as well that uh, is, is up and coming. It's in beta as well, so I probably plan to have some video footage of it as well. But uh, for the most part, back on subject. So right here, I'm doing a little bit of harassment where I'm going to the main base. And uh, as you can see, I did get a lot of whiffs there, but our commander finally got us a little special ability called Blink, okay? Now what that allows me to do is almost teleport across the map, and it gives me almost like the ability to fly in like a crazy like Fade Jutsu style of like ninja. <laughs> it's, it's just, oh my gosh, I can't even describe how much I love Fade, so I'm a big Fade guy. And uh, again, this is all thanks to our commander. Now, our commander went ahead and told me and told other units as well, or rather, other human uh, teammates, that basically we were getting hit really, really hard at this point. So we had a squad of three, and you can see that I really went ahead and, and tried to make use of my environment. A guy tried to run away very futilely. I kind of felt bad about stabbing him in the back with my scythe, but uh, sure enough, he deserved it because he was bullying some of our teammates and uh, killing some of the gorgeous here. So we ended up protecting our resource node, and again, what's really Really cool is how we go back and forth it's almost like a cat and mouse kind of game and uh you are kind of like the more that you play this like the aliens feel like they literally are like the superior life form in this sense like they literally like when you use the environment and you have this like these shadows and darkness and you're and you're crawling and you're ambushing someone it really feels like you are kind of like you know kind of like a different life form you know out there in a way this this vision almost looks like predator vision from the predator series like the movie where uh, the, there's this big superior life form trying to take out Arnold Schwarzenegger and all these friends you know <laughs> sorry for the reference I, I apologize it's a late night but I wanted to get this video out so you can see the really cool part about the fade here as a whole is that uh, you know you're really there to try to be able to support your units by indirect combat now I would only have 250 health okay so if any of these marines right here were to catch on and dump their fire all together on me I would go down in a matter of seconds I've had it done numerous times now right here you can see I'm using effective blinking strategies to be able to confuse them the only thing that I have in my power is the ability to confuse units and get them to scatter and because they're scattered right here it allows me to be able to chain up multiple kills I think in this series I ended up killing a total of eight and then follow up with the, another kill at the very end when Francis comes to join me as a newly evolved fate so right there I did clear the room very quickly luckily I was able to solo with the help of other units coming to my aid and distracting them and again you know we're defending our hive room this is basically you see that big looking thing hanging from the it's not a Christmas decoration or a holiday decoration. It is called the hive and basically what this is is your home base and by having multiple hives across the map it allows you and your team to be able to build further upgrades and uh, overall just more quote unquote map control. 
So as I'm chilling here, getting my heels in and get myself ready to rock and roll again, I see a stampede of three elephant-looking creatures. Everybody, I want to introduce you to the Onos. They are by far one of the most expensive units, and rightly so, on the aliens' arsenal. And the reason why is because they have tons of HP. They send Marines running the other way because straight up they do so much damage. And uh, pretty much when you see an Onos running around and you're a Marine, dude, it's like you you turn 180 degrees instantly and you book it, dude, for sure, because you need an entire team to take those guys down so everybody's been working tremendously well together we've gone ahead and like i was saying about map control we had superior numbers in terms of like our our people that are on the same page we communicated and uh, overall we had a really nice victory went for the phase gate here just in case any sort of marines wanted to go ahead and phase in to uh, protect the last of their base but guys i hope you found this video fun hopefully entertaining and maybe a little insightful as well i'm hoping to get more people in the natural selection 2 world because oh my gosh dude it is so worth it props to unknown worlds a quick shout out to francis the beast m14 ebr killing floor sharpshooter as well as frank tank 4814 the master kaita himself <laughs> i'll see you guys on the flip side if you like this video you want to see some more do me a favor give that like button a little bit of love for some more good times and if you want to go ahead and subscribe you have no idea how much that would help me out this is sarius you guys rock and roll have an awesome upcoming holiday season and more videos are definitely planned Get you on the flip side. Sorry, South. No.